E yo, vou sempre dar um blue que vinha subscribe não conhecer o canal. Now, I don't want to sound judgmental, but either way, by me saying I don't want to be judgmental, I'm already going to start judging. That lady could have saved that baby. That lady could have 100% saved that baby. But because of her... I guess body type or situation and you might call me you know fat phobic or whatever it is but that's not a very healthy lifestyle to be living because if it's going to involve other people like that baby that innocent life which cannot defend himself from any unrare that was a rare situation by the way that would probably never have ever happen again in a million years but what i'm trying to say is that in that situation where you were viably capable of stopping that from happening you were not you were not and it just seemed that you were stumbling upon yourself. You as an individual could not get up for yourself to save another life. That is scary. That is something you got to think about as an individual where you say you don't care how other people view you and your body positivity is good for you and society will accept me for who I am. That's cool. That's, that's cool. Have that mentality. But you can't say that your life does not impact another. That's just cap. Opinions of other people don't matter, but actions and the way you live your life and the decisions you make and the mindset you try to put out there to make yourself feel comfortable, not realizing that it might affect others, this is the scary situation. Like I said again, this is rare. This will probably never happen again in another, in another million years. And I pray it doesn't. But that baby could have died. I'm going to say it straight. That baby could have died. If it wasn't for that guy, it was over. I don't know if those cars were going to like, you know, be able to have fast reflexes and stop. But damn, that was close. That was really close. And you as an individual who's supposed to be a responsibility for the people you love, for the people you care for, and you're unable to stop something that you are capable of stopping, it's, it's sad. It's really just an... Like, if that doesn't motivate you to actually try and live a better life, to be able to care for the people around you, then I don't know what will. I don't know what situation you need to be put in to realize that you shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't live that type of lifestyle that's way too soft, where you're unprepared for these type of situations. Because innocent lives will always depend on you. If you're an adult and you got kids or even if you're just a, an adult and you see these type of things, not being capable of stopping it from happening is scary when you are capable. When you are capable and you still don't do nothing and you don't even crawl. Bro, I don't, bro, if that was my baby or I saw an innocent life like that, even if my legs were getting broken and cut off, bro, I would crawl, crawl my, like I didn't see any effort. I swear if I did, I wouldn't be trying to judge her or anything, but I didn't see any effort of trying to save that innocent life and that just made me sad that just made me really sad it stressed me out watching that video it really did i hate to judge people for who they are and what but sometimes when it affects others lives and how it might impact them then it's seriously scary it's a seriously scary thing for you yourself that's okay view yourself harm yourself whatever you want but for other lives other innocent lives that's just scary man that is just genuinely concerning I don't know what else you need to see for you to realize that you need to get in shape you need to stop living that horrible lifestyle where you you think that you you can't be in a situation where you might need to stop things like that and just pray like god damn because if it wasn't for that guy i don't know what god had in store honestly god just had it in your fate that you needed to see this you needed to see the situation it was just you and them it's like those dreams where you're unable to escape you can't move you're paralyzed it's so scary but when it happens in reality that's just even it's worse because there's much more deeper consequences and loss that can happen at least with a dream it's like oh it's not reality but this is reality and that's the scary part that's reality i don't know god bless have a nice life and i'll see you